Uh, thank you very much for introducing me. Uh, good morning, everybody. My name is uh, Michael Nkalubo, as you have heard. I'm the Commissioner for Meteorology in the Ministry of Water and Environment, uh, Uganda, and also the Permanent Representative of Uganda with World Meteorological Organization. I'm going to talk about uh, the initiative uh, in Uganda on how to improve early warning messages for better planning and season making through translation of uh, weather forecasts into local language in the country. As a preamble, Uganda lies astride the equator in East Africa between 29.5 degrees east and 35 east, and between 4.5 and half a degree uh, south. Altitude average is uh, 1,100 uh, meters. Uganda is not safe from climate change as it's manifested through increasing temperatures. The frequency and intensity of, flo of floods and uh, droughts are also increasing. The most affected communities are those in semi-arid areas like Karamoja and uh, parts of uh, Teso. Agriculture is the mainstay of our economy and contributes 21.5 of the percent of the GDP. And almost exclusive is a rain-fed uh, agriculture. So any change in the climate has an implication uh, on the production of food. With climate change, we can't do business as usual. We need to change as well. And uh, there is uh, an adage now that if we don't change, change will change you. So we have got to change also and see that our people receive this information in the language they best understand. As you can see, our adult literacy rate is 73% as by 2010. But most people tend or enjoy to talk in their dialects, and they enjoy better or they listen better in their dialects. English is an official language, but day-to-day -day life, people are talking their languages. So the role of the Department of Meteorology, like elsewhere, it's mandated to carry out the task of establishing and maintaining weather and climate observation system network, collection and analysis of data, and also production of weather and climate information to support social and economic development in the country. These are some of the products that we, we give. We have got past climate uh, data, historical data. We have observed the climate change signals, climate variability trends, and also we have other statistics. Uh, current states of the climate are also observed, like the real-time data is observed information on evolution of the El uh, Nino Southern Oscillation uh, events are also observed. The state of the sea surface temperatures, then surface and upper air uh, pressure, winds are also observed. Among the prediction products, of course, we serve the civil aviation with the aeronautical uh, information. We give the general daily weather forecasts we give the seasonal uh, forecast, and this is the one we normally translate into local languages. And then uh, we also give climate change predictions up to 50 years. The Karamoja region I talked about, which is uh, a community suffering mostly because of this uh, climate change, we also give a special weather forecast for them. That's the map of uh, Uganda with the network of stations which we have. We have synoptic stations and also about 40 climatological stations which include hydrometeorological and uh, agrometeorological stations. Why, why the initiative? Uh, by research, the ACRA, that's the African Climate Change uh, Resilience Alliance, 
in collaboration with the government of Uganda, it was found out that the majority of rural end users lack access. And if they get this information, at times it comes late, and they may not be able to properly translate it into what it's supposed to mean. Then there's also uncoordination and misrepresentation of uh, the weather forecast. Some people would uh, try to disseminate our weather forecast, and in so doing, they may misrepresent it. Then there's a general lack of trust in uh, our meteorological information. People would prefer to use uh, the indigenous knowledge, uh, traditional weather forecasts, because it's mainly in the language they better understand. So, we also, it was also found out that development planning at all levels lacked uh, climate change information. So, by funding from ACRA, the initiative has pro uh, was meant to increase the usage of weather and climate information in decision making processes by end users. National experts in their workshops downscale and interpret the weather forecast and develop advisory messages for all sectors. So translation into local languages is now carried out and dissemination through local FM radios is carried out. Dissemination can also be done through meetings, through mobile phones and newspapers. This has been piloted in, two, in, in three districts and uh, we are hoping to scale it up. What's the impact of a community level and what's the feedback from the rural communities? Understandable language. Rural communities and district staff appreciate the weather forecast in their local languages for the first time. They now feel a sense of belonging to the product which we give. Meteorology we used to think in a box, but now we are coming out to reach on the end users and see that they understand exactly what we mean. Timely and useful. Communities mentioned uh, that they, are, they now receive the information timely and that it was useful for them for the first time. Better preparedness and informed decision. Communities testify to have used the information to prepare ahead of the heavy rains and opening up water drainages, planting short maturing crops. From the picture, you can see meteorological staff conducting community assessment in one of the, in two of the districts. The impact of national and at, in, at national and uh, institutional level. There is improved coordination among experts at national level. For the first time, meteorology experts invite other ministries, the media, research, the academia, to discuss weather forecasts and its implication. Usable and harmonized formats of the weather forecast. Different experts jointly interpret the weather forecast information and develop advisories per sector, which are then translated in local languages and disseminated. There is also reduced misinterpretation. The weather forecast, as experienced before, was being misinterpreted, as I have said earlier. There is improved image and relations of the meteorological services. In the recent past, people did not trust meteorological services. However, this initiative has opened windows for meteorology to interact with different stakeholders, both at national and local levels. They have, in some communities, they have even invited meteorological staff to give talks, live talks on radio about weather forecasts and climate change in their areas. 
Some local private uh, FM radios have also offered airtime for the meteorological experts to go and explain uh, the information to the people. Challenges. There are challenges like the increasing spatial variability due to climate change requires expansion of the station network. This is a big challenge. The pilot project does not cover the whole country. As you know, it's just a pilot, so we need to scale up and uh, cover the rest of the country. We have a problem of low staffing, yet we are using equipment which is still conventional, and the services are not yet decentralized. So we are trying to go to automate most of our stations as we have got, uh, as we are thin on the ground with the staffing levels. Uh, inadequate feedback mechanism from end users to the department, this one is still lacking. Way forward, we need to fundraise to scale up this initiative. Working with other development partners like ACRA to support forward-looking planning, uh, utilizing weather and climate information. Using radio as a principal method of dissemination in local languages. We need to promote radio listenership groups to improve dissemination and also train journalists in the district, including at uh, community radios. We need to, say to synergize with the key stakeholders, including CSOs and private sector, and strengthen climate modeling for medium and long-term climate scenario to inform forward-looking decision making. As I conclude, we know that uh, climate change is, is here and is here to stay. In our NAPAs, one of the pillars is to improve meteorological services. So if we improve meteorological services, then we need to improve also the means of communication of this information to our people so that they can utilize the information better. Thank you very much for your kind attention. I will entertain uh, a few questions. Thank you.